have got introduction of the Gaussian in the last lecture. To remind again, if multiple events are happening which are independent of each other, they will follow Gaussian distribution. Suppose there is a curve. Suppose this curve represents heights of some students. The mean of height is 170, 175, 180, 185, 65, 160, 155 and so on. Suppose we want to know the probability that a student's height is falling in this range 170 to 175. This probability will be given by the area under the curve in this range. The total area of this curve must add to 1. The height of this curve is such that the area remains 1. Now another important quantity which is called Z score. It is defined as X minus mu which is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. Let's take an example. If the value of X is 175, we want to know the Z score for X. This will be equal to 175 minus mu. Mu is suppose 170 and, and suppose the sigma is 5. Now 175 minus 170 divided by 5 equals 1. What does it mean? It means that the value x which is equal to 175 is one standard deviation away from the mean. Let us understand the rule of Z score more clearly. Suppose this Gaussian represents the number of passengers travel by train. Now if a passenger travels 700 km then his deviation from the mean is 200 km. Five, suppose mean of this data is 500. A particular passenger travels 700 km then the deviation of that passenger will be 200 km. But we don't know from this deviation that value 700 is very usual or unusual. Now suppose we change the Gaussian. Like this. Since, they, since we have increased the spread of the Gaussian, the height will automatically decrease to maintain the total area equal to 1. Now here in this case, the distance 700 can be parameterized by this height. But if we consider the second Gaussian, we see that the likelihood of 700 is increased. So in this case, in the second Gaussian, the value 700 is more usual than the previous. Now suppose in the same data, the mu is 500 and the standard deviation is 100. The travel distance of the passenger is 700, then the Z score will be 700 x minus mu, 700 minus 500 divided by 100 is equal to 2. It means in the previous case, in the data 700 is 2 standard deviation away from the mean. But if we take the second example, where the standard deviation has increased and this is suppose 200 where sigma is 200 then the Z score will be equal to 1. It means in the second case the data is one standard deviation or the, val the value 700 is one standard deviation away from the mean. It means in the second case the value 700 is more usual than the previous one. Let us draw it again. This is suppose the first case. Mean was 500 and suppose this value is 700. 
in the first case this value 700 is two standard deviation away if the Gaussian is changed where sigma is 200 then the value 700 is just one standard deviation away from the mean see that although the deviation of 700 from the mean is 200 in both the cases but in the second case the value is one standard deviation away but in the first case the value is two standard deviation away it means in the second case the value is much more likely or much more usual than the previous case take one more example to understand this suppose there are some data points and we have mean over here and consider this data point whose distance is d from the mean this is mean and this is the data point x here we can easily see that this data point x is outlier or this data point x may be noise because it is not the part of the cluster but if we increase the spread of the data points still the mean is mu because we are evenly increasing the data points now we can see that this data point is part of this cluster and the occurrence of this point is much more likely as compared to the previous case because in this case the standard deviation is more so the probability of occurrence of this x is more than the previous case although we can see the distance is d so we can understand that z score is better method to detect outlier than the deviation there are lots of applications of gaussian Gaussian filters are used to detect noise in various signal processing applications because noise elements are independent of each other and these elements follow the Gaussian distribution. We can filter noise easily using Gaussian. Gaussian distribution is also used in nearly all market research applications like example advertising, production etc. Thank you.